defense at the city gate has been strengthened. It wasn't like this when we came. Access pass is required if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. <clears throat> what is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. Oh, uh, you must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please. I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Gion is currently there at the Norfall Baron's base. Dangerous as it is, he will keep an eye on every soldier, including the one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. <laughs> Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? Greetings. I'm Jianxin. Could you please do me a favor? I want to go look for someone outside the city, but I don't have an access pass, so may I tag along? I'm a jack of all trades. Tai Chi, cooking, tea making, Mining, foraging, errand running, fixing utilities, and caring for animals. You got something else in mind? Oh, I'm always up for learning new skills. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Well, it says you have the highest level of access. So, no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Sure. So, you're looking for the relative of a veteran. And you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. I grew up in my sect on a mountain. Spent most of my time training with my masters. And one day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. 
His name is Jiyuan. I don't know him in person. On my way down the mountain, I ran into his grandfather who was looking for his grandson on his own but ended up lost. I couldn't just leave an elderly person like him out there. So I thought I'd escort him to the nearest city and make further plans once we're safe. You're willing to go to such lengths with someone you don't know. You have a kind soul, Master Tianxing. It's all thanks to many kind-hearted people. Without them, Mr. Zhongya and I wouldn't have made it to Jinzhou. Mr. Zhongya seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongya has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. Mr. Zhongye seemed confused. He's gone through a lot searching for his enlisted grandson. Lending a helping hand was the least I could do. I reported his situation to the patrol station, but with the chaos on the front line, Mr. Zhongye has been extremely worried about his grandson's safety. He'd sneak out to look for his grandson the moment no one was watching. <sighs> I'm really worried about him. This mango scene? It's got some fresh looking leaves, soft springy skin, and eight fleshy segments fully ripened inside. It looks like a nice fruit. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Deserog Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Of course. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown, yet there are It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown, yet there are... This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my companion now, bearing witness to it.